huge fleets of Allied bombers, protected by umbrellas of fighter planes, continue their all-out offensive upon Nazi war plants in Europe. In one 24-hour period, 22 major rail junctions and scores of airfields from the Netherlands to western Germany felt the force of Allied bombs. Over the channel, planes attack and destroy Nazi E-boats. Wing cameras synchronized with blazing guns record dramatic evidence of Nazi planes blasted from the skies. Precious planes Hitler can ill afford to lose with invasion threatening on all sides. On the Italian front, from Casino to the sea, the German Gustav line is penetrated, as General Alexander and General Clark attack with artillery. Big guns blasting away on an 85-mile front, from the Adriatic to the Tyrrhenian Sea. Allied infantrymen move up in the wake of the opening two-hour barrage. American tanks wait to advance. Street fighting is from house to house. In Italy, the new campaign is underway. Taking off from a California airport, two Mustang fighters of the American Army Air Force set out to break the coast-to-coast -coast speed record. Flying 2,500 miles across the continent at nearly 400 miles an hour, they land in New York six hours and 31 minutes out of Los Angeles. First to alight is Colonel Peterson, who is greeted by his wife. Then Colonel Carter, pilot of the second plane, is welcomed. New York salutes the new speed kings of the Army Air Force. Student nurses, members of the newly formed United States Cadet Nurse Corps, marched to New York City Hall for induction. White-capped Navy auxiliaries applaud the young Sisters of Mercy who pledge their lives to serve humanity. Learning without pay, 95,000 volunteers like these are in training throughout the United States. Training camps all over America, fresh new divisions pass in review as the time nears for them to go overseas. A special insignia is given infantrymen who have completed the rugged ranger course. Soon these seasoned fighting men will be in action at the front. Airplane pilots prepare for action on the farm front. 
loading planes with a special powder that will kill insects and pests, they are aiding farmers whose crops are threatened by blight. Masks protect the pilots from dust as they swoop low across the fields. Spraying 60,000 acres in one area, they save precious food crops needed for war. Just before dawn on the morning of April 22nd, a powerful Allied force in the Pacific moves as if to strike the Jap base at Palau. Instead, it turns south toward Atape and Hollandia in Netherlands, New Guinea. The enemy is caught napping. The assault begins at night with a terrific naval barrage. landing barges speed to shore under cover of fire. Giant land-based bombers support the American attack. Enemy positions and installations along the entire coast are blasted again and again. MacArthur personally directing the assault, a daring thrust 500 miles beyond the most advanced point previously occupied by Allied forces driving down the New Guinea coast. scale invasion is made with a full complement of mechanized equipment. Huge tanks nosing across the beach, spearheading the infantry into the dense and muddy jungle. The general lands with his troops. Bypassing some four Japanese divisions around Madang to the southwest, the United Nations are in complete control of this vital base. Only wreckage and death marks the flight of the enemy from Hollandia, first Dutch territory to be retaken from the Japs. Dutch civil administrators move in with the troops. To General Kruger and the fighters of his Sixth Army, General MacArthur says, well done. Hollandia, 1150 miles from the Philippines, is in Allied hands. And to the people of the Philippines, MacArthur has said, I shall return. Mm -hmm.